too, in case we see anything. All right, we're out here in the villages here. We're 107 miles away from Look Cape Canaveral. Sky. See it's changing? You can almost see the clouds. The I mean, the, the lower color. part of the clouds yeah. there are getting bright. Hopefully we can see the rocket going up. This is a Falcon Heavy. Uh, it just launched about oh, 25, 30 seconds ago. It takes about a minute before we can see it above the clouds. Which is, of course, the moment of power and telemetry nominal. Call outs there that power and telemetry are both looking okay, good for Falcon the, the, Heavy. Oh, that's fine. Again, okay. No, that's fine. Next is Max oh, there it is now. See it? Oh. There we go. So that is a critical now, it's going up. Critical flight milestone for yeah, it. Yeah, it's much better. It, 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 it all depends on the clouds. Heavy is moving faster than the speed of sound. Now that's going the speed of sound. One of my neighbors is right next door to me. This is his first rocket launch here. Yeah. yeah. Still going way up. Yeah, we passed through Max Q. So now the engines are throttling up. Everything's looking good with the stage one trajectory, which is great. There we go. Oh, there we go. Wow. Look at it now. And what's going to happen is the the two booster rockets are going to separate and they're going to come back down and they're going to they're going to uh, break the sound barrier. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it. Pico, which stands for booster engine cutoff, is expected at about two and a half minutes in flight. That's where we'll shut down the engines on the side boosters. And then following Vico, the side boosters will separate away from the okay. center core wow. and begin their trip back It disappeared in the clouds. The that gets you a good idea what it looks like.